as you can see, it's still pretty bright. It's been running all night. And it's still very bright. But what's interesting is that it's at 2.7677 volts. These are 3.2 um, volt LEDs. So I need about 3.2 volts to turn on. But it's, it's on at 2.7 volts. And it's on pretty bright. So that's very interesting. Something also is interesting is that I have a car LED 12 volt. These you can get these at Radio Shack. These are they're supposed to be run at 12 volts in a car system. But watch this. I'm going to use the leads off the multimeter. I don't need it anymore. Let's see here. Get my wires untangled. You can see it lights up a 12 volt LED. This LED is made to run at 12 volts. It's a car LED. I mean, you got the you got the bolt here for threading through. This is this is for 12 volt projects, and it's lighting this LED just fine. Remove it from the. Uh, remove it. And let's see, I got a real 12 volt battery over here. It's kind of not pretty looking, but look at this 12 volt LED up to it. And you can see that's 12 volt. So if this, this is just to prove that this is a 12 volt LED, if this is a normal LED, this thing would have blown up by now. There's so much power in these um, 12 volt batteries. This bad boy would blown up. This is a used 12 volt battery. I mean, I use it. It works just fine. It's 12 volts, but this is to prove that this is a 12 volt LED. I'll give you a comparison of the two, but it lights that. Uh, this thing lights that up, and it lights up that LED right there just fine, and it lights up a 12 volt LED just fine. And this is a 12 volt. This is an actual lead acid 12 volt battery proving that this is an actual um, 12 volt LED because there is a little resistor in there somewhere as uh, you run this baby, this bad boy off a uh, 12 volt system for your car. That's what I wanted to show you guys that. It's still going very bright.